My name is Ron Thames. I'm the developer of FireAid 2000. I've been in this industry for 25 years. Each and every day in the fire service, I learn something brand new. However, the knowledge, the background, the experience that I bring to the technology of FireAid 2000 is unmatched in the industry today. FireAid 2000 has many applications, many benefits. Another thing that the firefighters love about our product is the ease in which it will extinguish the fires, the quickness that it will extinguish the fires, and the effectiveness. Whether the fuel, it may be gasoline, diesel fuel, aviation fuel, or different kind of polar silence during the Persian Gulf and the Kuwaiti oil fires. I was invited by the United States Senator at the time who was headed up for the safety and the defense they used my product in the first series of applications to cool the wellheads after the wellheads and the fires were extinguished. So having that background of actually being involved in huge oil well fires gives me the knowledge. The unique chemical structure of Fire Aid 2000 means that the molecule is orientated in a specific way within water droplets. The polar front end is attracted by water droplets and therefore enclosed by the droplet surface, while the non-polar rear end repels water and therefore converts heat into water vapor. While the polar end is inside the water droplet, the non-polar end orientates itself away from the water, projects out of the droplet and can therefore react with other molecules to channel the absorbed energy directly into the droplet. This considerably enhances the evaporation rate of the water, thus extracting a great deal of energy from the fire within a very short space of time. The blanket of fire aid that's on this pit at 1% was used with a standard nozzle, no foam tube. The rapid cooling of the product, the rapid cooling with fire aid is incredible. But the beautiful part, we only use 1% with no foam tube. So now I'm going to try some reignition as soon as I get this thing burning real good. Hopefully they're bringing me some fuel. We're able to make water 20 times wetter. And fast. Okay. Another major advantage of the use of Fire Aid 2000 molecules is their capacity to separate hydrocarbon molecules in an aqueous solution and to render them permanently non-flammable. While the Fire Aid 2000 water droplets are attracted to one another, the projecting non-polar ends attract hydrocarbon molecules. There is a successive cascade of effects, rapid heat conduction and the removal of energy. The separation of hydrocarbon molecules and ultimately the separation of the burning material from the oxygen in the air, all entirely without toxic byproduct compounds of conventional foams. As an effective extinguishing agent additive, Fire Aid simultaneously combats all segments of the fire tetrahedron. First effect, a wetting agent that reduces the surface tension of water. Second effect, immediate and significant reduction of heat. Third effect, separation of flammable hydrocarbon molecules. Fourth effect, interruption of the free radical chain reaction. Fifth effect, formation of a dense foam blanket and a thick membrane that contains no toxic compounds. When used together with Fire Aid 2000, the surface tension is significantly reduced by the wetting agent. This means that a larger surface area is covered and that the water can penetrate into the pores of the burning material.
The following video shows the effects of Fire Aid 2000 in practice. A large tank containing 200,000 litres of fuel was set alight on a test site of the world's largest crude oil producer, the Saudi Arabian company Aramco. As extinguishing agent, the firefighters used a 3% mixture of Fire Aid 2000, which was introduced to the tank at 350 gallons per minute or 1,325 litres per minute. There was strong wind and the fire source was producing intense heat. Measurements showed that the fire had heated the wall of the tank to more than 800 degrees centigrade. The firefighters first used the cooling effect of Fire Aid 2000 to reduce the temperature to below the self-ignition threshold. The temperature dropped to less than 80 degrees centigrade within a few seconds. The next step was to combat the fire, and the Fire Aid 2000 was immediately effective in separating the fuel vapors. The visibility also immediately improved, and the black smoke disappeared. The fire was extinguished within approximately 1 minute and 30 seconds. A stable foam blanket can be seen floating on the non-toxic membrane and spreading through the entire tank. In addition, the cooling and separating effects eliminate the risk that the fire could flare up again. There's no toxic foam to be disposed of. The Fire Aid 2000 molecules that encapsulate the flammable diesel or fuel particles can be safely pumped off the surface after extinguishing the fire. The remaining fuel can be immediately reused. Acetone is one of the most unstable polar solvents in the industry today. Being able to extinguish the polar solvents with the Fire Aid 2000 AR is a wonderful application. Quickly, the product mixes. This is very important. Okay, you can see, just it's already pre-mixed. Como se neutraliza totalmente este combustible? Taking into consideration the fire industry, one of the things that I have always strived for in developing all of my technology is the safety of the personnel and the firefighters. Fire 2000's incredible ability to cool a substance, whether it be a steel structure, the rubber, the wood, the grass, the rapid cooling of Fire 2000 is unmatched today. En estado sólido, lo hemos activado con un poco de gasolina. Ahora que ha sido temperatura aquello. A ver, cuidado. Ahora vemos toda la reacción que hay de la espuma ahí con el magnesio. Clemente, ahí. Cogido un poquito, pero... Fire Aid was patented for use by engineers as a superior alternative to the commonly used traditional foam-based extinguishing agents. Fire Aid simultaneously attacks the fire at all levels of the fire tetrahedron. It cools immediately, separates hydrocarbon molecules and renders them non-flammable, suppresses the free radical chain reaction and forms a dense foam carpet as well as a thick membrane. Fire 2000 is environmentally friendly. It's the only product produced today that has all certifications of biodegradable, environmentally friendly for the fish, for the plant life, 
for the animals. It's so important in our world today that we have green products. Fire Aid 2000 is completely biodegradable, non-corrosive, and can be used in fire classes A, B, D, earth alkaline metals, as well as F. It has none of the disadvantages of traditional foam extinguishing agents and is non-toxic. One thing that you will see that is very important is the availability of the Fire Aid 2000 to be used in many different applications. Having a product that they can use in many different applications, such as Class A fires and Class B fires, being hydrocarbons or polar solvents. Fire Aid 2000 can be used with the conventional operating equipment for water and foam used by fire brigades for all fire classes. Its operating principles render Fire Aid 2000 very effective in as far as the quantity of extinguishing agent required and water consumption are concerned, while it simultaneously enhances firefighter safety because it also combats smoke and rapidly improves visibility. As it causes separation, there is an almost negligible risk of reignition. Depending on the nozzle used, Fire Aid 2000 can also be used to create heavy or medium heavy foam. There's never been a product developed in the industry today that will give our firefighting personnel the comfort, the speed, and the confidence that they need to have one product to extinguish many different type fires. They do not have to come up with new technology and new innovative ways. Tires is the most difficult thing to extinguish because rubber is class A and class B fires. When a tire is in the solid state, it remains a class A type fire. As it starts to decompose and release the oil that is produced into the tire, then it turns into a flammable liquid class B. Tires will smolder and smolder, and then the fire department will have to go back because of rekindle. With Fire Aid 2000, once the tires are extinguished, there's no possibility of reignition. You will see that today. You will also see the rapid cooling using Fire Aid 2000. There's never been a product produced on the market today that has this capability. A proyectar la espuma de baja expansión y notamos esas calorías a nuestra derecha, pero es porque no estaba lanzando la espuma en esa dirección, cosa que no ocurría en la zona de la izquierda. Totalmente la eficacia de la espuma en baja expansión, puesto que todo ese combustible que queda impregnado reduce las calorías. De facto, estamos intentando perimetrar este fuego y podemos apreciar como cualquier tipo de avance que realizamos es de forma segura, ya que detrás nuestro prácticamente no queda ningún tipo de radiación térmica. Bien, estamos bien situados. Notamos una ligera elevación de temperatura por un poquito de vaporización, que es inevitable, pero nada comparado con la extinción con agua corriente. De todas maneras, la temperatura se ha reducido brutalmente. Observamos ahora una temperatura de 200 grados centígrados. Tal vez. 28, 31, 33, 34, 33. Y va a realizar Clemens la comprobación con la mano de esa temperatura totalmente reducida. 35, 30.
Se estáis poniendo cojonudos, ¿eh? Bueno, no. Es una guerra de espuma entre ellos. Fíjate el, el, el humo, ¿eh? Ya ves. Lo del humo es espectacular. Fíjate. Ya el vapor de agua, ¿eh? Claro, 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 claro. Estaba allí, cuando estaba arriba me estaba mojando. ¿no? Y este ya está tocando con la mano y no se quema. Este fuego se acabó. <risa> <risa>